The longing of belonging. The pandemic has brought on the longing of belonging. The longing for church on Sundays, a congregation reciting prayers and singing. For that moment when syllables released into the air create interconnectedness, togetherness. The pandemic has brought on the longing of belonging. The longing for poetry readings at public libraries, browsing and discussing books at local shops, visiting galleries and antiquing on Wickedon Street. The pandemic has brought on the longing of belonging. The longing for the three-hour culinary experience at Al Forno. Romantic dinners at Potiphar and Cafe Nuovo that vibe on a crowded water fire night. Sitting by the fireplace at Pastiche while enjoying dessert and coffee. Shopping at Venda and meals on Federal Hill, including the old canteen where you've gathered with family for Christmas Eve yearly, except for 2020. The pandemic has brought on the longing of belonging for shows at Trinity, Rep, PPAC, and the Vets. For the sound of a sellout crowd chanting, let's go friars at the dunk. Classical music at the Newport mansions, jazz at Fort Adams. You drive up to Boston to walk by Symphony Hall, the Wang, the MFA. So many concerts, lectures, film festivals, and exhibits perfectly framed in your mind. You can smell the bread baking in the North End, where you can still hear Italian spoken on the narrow streets. The pandemic sparks nostalgia for places closed long ago. For dining in the artfully decorated cafe in the barn with its floor to ceiling Christmas tree. For drinks after work at the Biltmore. For dancing at Club Cafe on a crowded floor with everyone dressed to the nines. For summer concerts at Warwick Musical Tent, where you first heard Tony Bennett perform that song about that California city on a rainy summer night, when even thunder knew its part. The pandemic has brought on this daily montage of the places where you have received from, where you have given from the heart.